Malik, you guys have been absolutely unstoppable, I guess is the best word offensively this year. And Dutch Fork always has a, a heck of an offense, but it seems like this one maybe you have just that little extra something. Uh, what might this what might this addition of the Foxes have that other ones haven't in the past? Um, I'll say we got really the complacent, being complacent, complacency. Uh, you know, we just got that hunger back that other teams had in the past. And, you know, just put everything together, you know. We just, hard work, basically, that's it. The old the old axiom says that everything starts up front on the offensive line, and, and I think that that's the case with this team as well. Talk about your line uh, and the guys on it and, and the great job that y'all do. Uh, you know, we just, we just take, uh, like, it just uh, we just put everything on ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everything, all the hard work, you know. They, they when they tell us that, we just we just it's, it gives us motivation, you know, to say uh, that that's a lot to speak for. You got a got a big addition over the summer. A big fella moved in from Georgia, pitched mm -hmm. all center this year, uh, Holton, mm -hmm. yes, and uh, about six three, six four, two eighty, two ninety. Talk a little bit about how he has come in to a to a program where typically, you know, you you earn your way and all and that kind of thing. But from what I understand, he's adjusted. He's done a super job of adjusting, and it's really kind of completed the unit. Oh yeah, you know, no doubt. You know, we have to. Uh, we always compete. No matter every week, there's no single set spot. So when he came in, he came ready to work. You know, it just gave that boost of confidence for us. You know, obviously a big guy. So right. It just it just helped the whole team, even the quarterbacks, wide receivers. How excited are you about making the Shrine Bowl team? Tell me about that. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. It's, you know, it's, it's a blessing. You know, it's an honor. You know, a lot of great players. You know, Julius Pepper, a lot, and then the list goes on and on. Sure. It's, just, it's exciting and a blessing at the same time. Now you got Spring Valley coming up uh, on Friday, and that's a team that when they are good, they can be really good. And as we know, there's times when it goes the other way with them. So I'm sure you guys are preparing for the good Spring Valley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, they only got two losses. so. Two losses, on, you know, that's that's not bad, you know. Right. So, uh, you know, but just like another game every week, we just took one game at a time. To, you know, we're going to get everybody's best shot. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's what comes with being the number one team in the state. I'm sure you you know from playing, of course, that you guys have dominated in the first half. But let me throw a couple numbers at you because TK was not aware of this. You guys have outscored your opponents in the first half this year, 204 to 28. That's an average halftime margin or a ha average halftime score mm -hmm. of 29 to 4. What is the what is the deal with you guys getting on people so hard so quick? I mean, you know, it's always the saying, get them out early. So if you get them out early, it's going to be hard for them to come back into the game. So with that being said, you know, we just get them out early. Yeah. If you keep having the same kind of second, third, and fourth quarters as you did in the first. Yeah. <laughs> It'd really be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, Malik, uh, congrats on a great year so far. Obviously, three more uh, regular season games, and then it gets to the real, the real season playoffs. So keep up the good work, and we'll talk to you in a week or two. I appreciate it. Thank you, man.